Just beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Well, I better not get caught in that or I'm, I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> Hey guys, Possible here. So, you might have remembered that I did a video on how to improve your raids, uh, your 24 man raid experience, especially when you've got a high end computer and you're getting these ridiculous freezes and stutters, all sorts of nonsense. Well, now, I did do that. However, I, th I think I've actually completely eradicated the problem by doing an extra step. So what I've decided to do is just talk about that, list it out, and just redo the video like an update or label it something like that. So we'll start off with the first second thing. Now you're going to have to go into Control Alt Delete when you're running the game, and you will have to click that particular button that will show up here. Now in the difference here is that overall I've managed to get the 64-bit application to work properly. Now. Now that I'm using that, combined with everything else, it's working efficiently. So, however, the difference here is that it won't be listed as 32-bit. It'll be listed as 64-bit, or, <laughs> forgive me, it'll be listed as just client.exe. Now, if you want to be able to, uh, to search through, make sure you click that button and also set priorities to high. The next thing you want to do now is Go into your settings and go into default settings and set it to 120 limit frame rate and set it to background 60. Now you don't actually have to do anything here. In fact I've managed to get it to the point where I was able to run with about a FPS of 35 to 41 range with max settings without any of those issues I've been having before. Completely smooth, nice experience. Now remember to do Control Alt F, F as well. You will still need to do that, but anyway. The next thing I did is I went into the control panel of NVIDIA. Now, if you're running a different card, I won't be on. I'm unable to help you at this particular juncture unless I do a bit of research on other cards, such as Radiant. However, I'm an NVIDIA user, so this is what I'm going to be doing. Now you want to set, go to any 3D settings and you want to set your settings to everything like I have set here. So make sure you do that. I'll also be taking screenshots to elaborate a bit more just in case you missed this in the video. There's no reason you should have to keep retreating this particular area so I'll put it up in IMG and link it in the description. Next, make sure your processor settings and configure surround physics X is set to the card that you actually have. In this case, it was 1080 for me. Once you've done that, close that. Now, the last thing you want to consider, and you will have to do this. Uh, now, if you've been trying to use the 64-bit application, and in the past, when you run it, it's got this atrocious FPS of like eight, the way to fix that is in fact, what most likely has happened is that when you tried fixing it originally when it first came out to actually get it to run, because it used to come up with this error message, well they fixed that finally. But if you probably left it on something in the compatibility mode. Now what I did to fix it was just turn that shit off. That's it. Your FPS will go whew, right through the roof. So once you've done that, you'll fi fix the FPS problem while running a 64-bit application. So close that up. Next thing is the obvious, when you're in the launcher settings, you want to make sure that it's set to use the 64-bit, which means you want to uncheck the 60, or 30, you want to uncheck the 32-bit uh, selection in the settings. Once you've done all that, you should be able to experience 24 mans with max settings and have a pretty damn decent net frame rate. That's really, really good. And after a while, you know, it, it doesn't make sense to me, a game that's more than six years old has got all these problems. The only... But what, what it comes down to is because it runs on old Drex, DirectX 9, and they've never fixed it, they've never changed it. And, well, computer systems and being the R today, 
have gone way beyond DirectX 9 and 12, 11 and 10 are far superior to that shit. But unfortunately, given the circumstances, this is the best as they come, I suppose, come about to using the 64-bit. But now that it's working properly, I hope that uh, everyone has a really good experience. I love this game. It is a little bit expensive, but still, I love it. So, that's it for me. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.